So, what can I say? I told you it'd be a long time between shaves and you can't believe anything I say. I have decided to have a shave on camera and for no good reason I'm going to shave with one of my Super Platinums. These are actually a nice blade. They're not the thickest stainless steel so they're pretty cheap. Come in that nice paper wrapper and what I do like about them is they don't have those sticky things that um, I've got to wipe off the blades. Uh, razor. Barbarossa on the above the tie bamboo handle. Pop in the blade. And let's get on with today's Shave of the Day. Shave. Real men shave their faces. Real men shave their faces. Today's soap, I'm going to give a little love to the Razor Rock. There we go. To the Razor Rock Chicago. Which basically smells like sweet pollution. It's actually not too bad. It is quite sweet. And it does have the odd smell of a musty city, you know, just after it rains, after God tries to clean up the mess. Picks up where the city council left off. Doesn't take long, and I have a enough on my Magard black synthetic to be getting on with today's shave. Again, afternoon shave, have a look at that. One day's growth, yesterday's shave was not super close. I blame a blade that was well past its good use-by date, but I don't know. When I got heaps of multiple blades, really, I don't need to leave it as long as I do. I should toss them more regularly. I still think Christopher Bailey's idea of keeping a dice on the ledge was a brilliant idea, but I've just never got round to buying the dice. Good ideas die on the vine with me. So. Enough froth, broth and leather, let's get on to wetting my face. Remember, water is the cheapest ingredient in any good shave. And finish up the leather with a face leather by working it in to my mug. <sighs> what an interesting world we live in. If I told you how bad yesterday's weather was, let me tell you how good today's is. I woke up to a stiff breeze. That was a breeze, people. And uh, the sun was out. So at eight o'clock in the morning, I realized I could grab the mower and uh, whip round. Only mowed last week, but it already needed doing again. It loved the rain. Just, it was doubling the grass length overnight. <laughs> now this is a fantastic razor. The Barbarossa on the um, Above the Tie Bamboo. The alternative, much cheaper than the Above the Tie one, is they got a similar handle at Italian Barber. Highly recommend this design for grip. And, as always, I love this Barbarossa razor. These Barbarossas give my Wolfman a run. They were that well made and machined. And mine, I'm very happy that I bought mine. If you see one, come up in a group or a forum, and it's within your budget, grab it. Well, I'll lose one house guest this weekend. And I gain another. In a few days, my brother will be up and we'll do packing and moving of another load down to um, the Sunshine Coast. So, little by little, it's fun living with no drawers, half my kitchen cutlery and stuff gone. Oh, it reminds me of my early days batching. And then when I get down the Sunshine Coast, I've got to unpack and set up all over again. Like I said, this is Chicago, it has got the scent of a city, so there's probably some tobacco in there and um, that sort of earthy smell um, combined with very sweet florals. And like I said, I love this Barbarossa. The other thing about this Barbarossa, I don't show you this, I know I'm halfway through a shave, I'll get back to it, is above the tie, ooh, let's go that way. This is an above the tie um, CNC'd. Uh, razor stand and uh, it fits this handle obviously perfect so I prefer this combination to almost every other looks quite primo on my shelf too mm. ah. towel and damp off today's shave as always, having dried my face, the next step is the witch hazel. 
Now it's taken me two years to empty one of these. You don't need much. Somehow it just cuts through whatever you've done, it cuts through and it just wipes it clean. It'd be a great mild makeup remover for the ladies. Now, next step, clean up me brush. Fantastic soap. Razor Rock soaps from Italian Barber. And don't forget the bamboo styled handle that they've got. If you're after a bamboo handle, a lot cheaper than above the tie, have a look at the Italian Barber. Having said that, I think I picked up, I can't remember which razor it was, but I picked up that one on eBay as an auction. So it was one of the auctions I actually won. Normally I only do buy nows, but this was an auction and I won it at a reasonable price. I don't remember what that reasonable price was. If I was to remember, I'd probably want the money back. You know, at the time, money, you always sit there and you get scroogey with money. Think about what you spend money on, right? Let's say $200, sounds like a lot of money. Go buy a half decent mobile phone. You're paying what, three to $600? $600 to $900 for a premium mobile phone. $200 for a razor that lasts a lifetime? Not a bad deal. Those phones are lucky to last one to two years. Not so long if you drop it, loo off the top of the car, <laughs> down the back of the seat. Oh, don't get me, the ways you can kill a mobile phone. You know, beautiful fountain pen. I signed some very important documents with that pen. Um, it'll forever have a place in my life and one day someone else will probably sign much the same sort of documents for me when I'm not here. Look, I'm Steve the Daily Shaver and I'm not going anywhere. One shave at a time. I think I just need a really good um, post-shavey balm. What have I got? Kind of spit sick of the Nivea. Okay, a little bit of orange will complement that quite nice. So the arcade. Remember, if you haven't used ingredients for a while, anything, make sure you get your finger on the lid so it doesn't come off. Give it a shake. Aftershaves, balms, always remix the ingredients. And, mmm. Wow, now that is a good shave. Just remember, the cleaner you keep your gear, and the more often you clean it, the longer it lasts. As always, extremely happy with my Barbarossa cap and I quite like the wavy handle, bamboo. That will go back, remembering I will take out the blade because I don't trust them in razors. For example, this is the one it sits next to. Now that's the Claymore handle in, I think that's an Icon base and the Icon cap. Just open it, fitted the handle absolutely perfectly. And what else have I got on the side here? Oh, another stand that I have. Now this is Aaron's stand that he made for me, didn't work. It's got, that's what that one looked like. And that's in that. So, ah, more shave gear. Let's add a screenshot. Just sit down out of the way. That's beside my, ah, I've got two of these sitting out of camera view. Remember, chuck loaded, that's full of single edges. And I should have my new polished um, supply provision um, single edge. It should be here next week. Fingers crossed. Hey, I'm Steve the Daily Shaver. Remember the wet shaver's blessing. Good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. And what's nice to be important, it's more important to share the love of wet shaving. Every man you know and every woman that does her legs needs to know about good soap, a nice brush, and a great razor. I'm Steve the Daily Shaver. Wishing you all the best of shaves, good shaves, and goodbye. Be a man. You think that you're so cool. Your face looks like a small marsupial